All right, welcome back, and this is already episode 15 of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel uh, walkthrough series playthrough. Let's go. Um, first of all, we are gonna check the missions. We apparently completed some missions, and that is find a secret pack 30 times already. Nice, we did. we're doing good. And also proceed to the solo gate. Seven out of ten. No soccer ball. <laughs> I can depicting a ball made of black and white panels. Winning three duels in a row is not called a hat trick. <laughs> okay, <laughs> funny. Um, yeah, last time we talked about the deck and everything and which cards we um, plan to buy uh, in the future or we don't plan to buy. So this time we're not going to waste too much time on it and actually get in the game immediately. New gate options are available. Interesting. Ah, so we have here and here and here. Gladiator beasts. Awesome. Um, yeah, we will always work from the bottom up. So basically now this gate is actually open. So we will uh, complete the megalith. If we, uh, if we can. So we will continue with the Megalith. Um, if you guys remember the Megalith, where actually the um, ritual monsters that you can summon from your hand with um, basically summon like effects on the monsters and their themselves. <coughs> Alright, duel. When. Oh, nice. Okay, this is an other card. When Shino, Shino Baron Peacock. Or Shinoban Baroness Peacock are ritual summoned. Yeah, multiple cards on your multiple cards on your field will be returned to your hand or deck, making it difficult to rebuild rebuild your front line. Pay attention to the timing of Megalith. Oh, och, 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 och. I don't know how to pronounce that one yet. Dang it! <laughs> Which has the effect of ritual summoning on your opponent's turn. Yeah, that one. And there's also another one, actually the smaller level two one. Also really good. Looking forward to play this battle with my with the blue eyes uh, white dragon deck already. So, but definitely let's enjoy this loner deck as well. Ooh, well this is a new card for a card I haven't seen before at least. Uh, if you ritual summon exactly one necros, ah, it's necros. Okay, necros ritual monster with a card effect that requires requires use of monsters. This card can be used as the entire requirement. Nice. If th this card is Tributed by a card effect, you can add one warrior necros ritual monster from your deck to your hand. And then you use, oh, this is a really pretty good card, honestly. Okay, necros. You can ritual summon this card with any necros ritual spell. Must be ritual summoned without using necros of Bryonek. Okay, we don't have that. Oh wait. Okay, that's okay. So you you cannot use necro. It's it's same name basically for its ritual summon. You can only use each of these effects of Necros or Bryonic once per turn. You can discard this card, add one Necros monster from your deck to your hand, except Necros or Bryonic. Oh, nice, interesting. You can target up to two face-up monsters on the field that were special summoned from the extra deck. Shuffle them into the deck, wow. You can ritual summon this card with any Necros, yeah, without using, without using level, any level 8 monsters, <laughs> interesting, some restrictions. You can only use each uh, effect once per turn, yeah. When an opponent's, opponent's monster declares an attack, you can manage one Necros card from your graveyard and discard this card, negate the attack, and then enter battle phase. Wow. During your main phase, you can tribute up to two monsters from your hand, enter field. And if you do, draw the same number of cards you tributed. Hmm. Uh, you can ritual summon this card with a mega. Oh, this Megalith, Megalith Palak, we know this card. Um, basically, ritual summon by tributing once from your hand or field. Levels equals, yeah, you can. Uh, it gives attack, uh, that, that's good. But it, it, it works better, way better in a uh, Palak, uh, I mean Megalith deck. So, if anything, I'm probably gonna drop this for a ritual summon of another card. You can ritual summon this card with a Necros, yeah, must be ritual summon without using any level 9 monsters, okay. <coughs> you can only use each of these effects of Necros, Trishula, once per turn. When a card or effect is activated <coughs> that targets a Necros monster, you can control quicker. You can con uh, wait, hold up. When a card or effect is activated that targets a Necros monster, you control yes, quick effect. You can discard this card and negate the activation. When this card is ritual summoned, you can banish three exactly three of your opponent's cards, one each from their hand. Feud. Oh, that's really nice, but not for now. So currently, I think yeah, we can just ritual summon this card, right? Because we can use this card as the entire. Um, entire cost but I'm not sure if we, we should do anything on the first turn like we might drop a card here and it might die so I'm kind of inclined to actually skipping the turn and just let's see what the opponent plays uh, we don't get insta kill that often anyway so they play what's this, Megalith? 
Oh, Peacock. Okay. Oh, Megalith. Okay. If it's summoned, you can add one Megalith spell trap from your deck to your hand. Continue your main phase. Hold up, this is my main phase? He did this in my main phase? This, the audacity. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, okay, now I have something to do, but I can't, still cannot attack. So, I can't put this on the on the field, but I still cannot attack. Uh, must be rich or summoned without using level 8 monsters. This is... Yeah, so basically we still need the Ritual Summon card. These cards are not like the Megalith monsters. You can discard this card, Ritual Summon one Megalith Ritual monster from your hand. Yeah, but that only works for Megalith. So I'm still gonna end the turn and see what we draw the next turn. Let's hope he doesn't go crazy and uh, do a ton of damage to us. Oh, that's the field spell. That's really good. For him, of course. <laughs> um, okay, that's this again. I'm not sure what that is. Okay. Maybe that's like a uh, loading or something. Pull. Oh yeah, that's the double two one. Sorry, that's a pretty good monster in it actually. Okay. Okay, they're they're actually playing with the Baroness as well. Hmm. Haji. Welcome, Haji. No, welcome, Ophil. Also on defense. I have no monsters, no cards. I don't know what you are doing. Um, but that is fine with me. Or not. Oh boy. Now it's getting real. If it's Palak, yeah, I thought so. And now you have a lot in the graveyard, actually. Oh my god. Alright, he did go ham. That was really well done. I must say, I don't have pretty great cards, though. Like, I cannot do much about it, but. Of extra extravagance. Well, hope that will help. Let's go. Please draw me two good cards. Six. We got the same cards. We can only do this. And the thing, if you discard a card, add one Nocturus monster from your deck to your hand. That's the only thing we can do. But I don't want a monster. I want a ritual spell. <laughs> okay, so we can at least see what's in the deck. So we had a really bad hand, I guess, because we cannot do anything. Like. We can summon a monster, but that's that's it, I guess. You can discard. You can discard, discard, add one necro spell trap. Oh. Oh, okay. Wait, that's pretty good, actually. I guess that's actually the thing that we're gonna do. Uh, the witch summon this card, must be, yeah, target one necro card in your graveyard, except necro's unicorn, add it to your hand, you can only use this effect. Once return, negate the effects of face of monster on the field that were special summoned from the extra deck. Nice. Uh, must be rich summon without end level 8 monsters. Common, apparently. Once return, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can banish one Necros card from your graveyard. Okay. And discard negate the... Oh, we have a similar effect like this in the, the, the level 9 monster. This one. The card effects activate the targets of Necros monster you control. Discard the card negate the activation. No, it's... Oh, it's this one. So it is actually the same. I was wondering. Yeah, and to better place, yeah. Okay. Um, wait, so wait, what we are going to do is, of course, add this card to the hand. And then we discard this same card. Okay. Um, now we know. This card can be used to ritual summon any ritual monster, but monsters from your hand or field, and or banish necros monsters from your graveyard. Interesting. Then ritual summon one from your hand whose levels actually exactly equals the total levels of those monsters. You can only use this effect of necros mirror once per turn. If you control no monsters, you can banish this card. And one Necros monster from your grave to add one Necros spell from your deck to your hand. Nice, pretty good. Graveyard effect. This card can be used to reach some item. Yes, yes, tribute on one monster from your hand or field or send one monster from your extra deck to your graveyard. Okay. Also, after that, ritual summon any number of Necros monsters whose total levels equal exactly the level of, the, of that monster. Wow. You can only use this effect Necro Kaleidoscope once per turn. If you control no monsters, you can banish this card in one. Oh, that's the same effect. Um, so this lets you banish from your graveyard. Um, I'm not sure. Like it's the the right card sounds good, but like uh, these are all big cards, so I'm not sure. You cannot s summon multiple. 
Anyway, so I think this uh, this is the better option. So let's use it. Um, let's summon. This had a really good effect, right? Got ritual summoned. You can banish one. Exactly. Yes. So their hand, field, and graveyard. That's so good. Yes, that's definitely going to be the card. And we can of course use this as the entire material. So that's uh, that's amazing. Oh, we can also, this is in the graveyard, <laughs> apparently 3 and 6, that's really cool. We can banish this, but, um, yeah, I don't see a reason to. Let's send this to the graveyard. And face up attack position. Um, yes, of course, we're going to activate that effect. Um, we're going to activate the effect in your graveyard. Wait. This card had an effect. Is this card distributed by card effect? You can add one warrior from your deck to your hand. Wow, this is such a good card. I love it already. Necros. I've ne I've heard of it a lot, but I've never played with it. So we will first resolve this, and we can add to the hand. This is a warrior. You can discard card add Necros monster. So basically, these search each other. That's really good. Or not each other, but th this one search this one. Um, so I think you're better off actually having this one in the hand. And then Trishula, okay, so we can banish a card from the field. I think it's gonna be the monster, I don't know. Uh, I just don't like the monster. It's too too powerful. So, let's do that. Um, then from the graveyard. In the graveyard, I think... Maybe this monster... Uh, this had a effect on the graveyard, right? Can you open an card? card? Target card? Mm. What? This... Er Eritron, it has a graveyard effect if I remember correctly. You can discard this card which will summon... Mm -hmm. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card you control for effect and plays one ritual monster from your graveyard. No. What? Okay, apparently not. Black you can place one, yes. And do negate the effect if you do destroy this card. Okay, so it doesn't have a graveyard effect. Um, but another guy did. It was another with a graveyard effect. Let me just check it real, really quickly. By tributing monsters from your hand to field, including this card. Okay, that's not it. Maybe none of these have actually graveyard effects. Right, the, 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 which are currently in a graveyard. Nope, none of them. Um, then I'll just banish this one. And one from the hand, I'll banish this one. Cool. Perfect. This is such a strong effect. Oh my god. I love it. Um, Alright, so then we actually are good to go to the battle phase. Let's see what the phase down card is. Nothing. Or nothing interesting at least. Okay, then we go to the end phase. And uh, we are actually pretty set, well set for the next turn as well. Summon this card, and then you may just can activate this for ritual summon one from your hand by treating monsters. Yeah. Special summon. Ah, this is the card that actually special summoned in defense position. I, I don't know what this icon is. I still haven't figured out. Is it loading? I think it's loading. Because he has to make some choices as well, right? That takes some uh, coding power or something. On Peacock. Okay, let's see what it does. It was on the field for just a little bit. Shibon S Peacock. Okay. Let's see. Uh, hold up, wait a minute, let me read. <laughs> yes. You can ritual summon this card. Okay. Ophiel. You're gonna attribute Ophiel to special Hagi. Also in defense. Awesome. Resolve. Okay, yeah, add a spell trap. Yep, sure. Then the portal. Back to add this to your hand. Target one ritual monster in your grave with add a three hand. You're gonna link summon? Wow. Cerberus, Nightmare Cerberus. I've heard of the card, I don't know what it does though. The effect of is activated. Um, so basically, let's check first. Summon card, you can discard one card and target one special summon monster in your opponent's. Main monster sign, don't destroy it. Of course, we're not gonna let this happen. Then, if this card was linked, go linked, this effect was 
Yeah, we're not gonna let this happen. Uh, because we can negate the attack uh, effect. When a card effect activated, it targets a card. You control quick effect. You can discard this card. Negate the activate. Huh? Oh yeah, in the hand. I see. We have another one in the hand. That's why. Chain and negate. Bye bye. So we, we he does it again. <laughs> Third one, my left monster maybe special summon. Hold up, hold up. Nice, okay, he's playing pretty well, honestly. Like, uh, this will become... This will become increasingly more difficult to follow. And Link, he's gonna Link again. Scroll. Okay, Gaia or something. Whoa, okay. Opponent has declared a battle. Yeah, see, we will definitely use this effect when opponent declares a battle. And, uh, declares an attack, you can banish one Necros card from your graveyard and discard this card. It's negate the attack, then enter battle phase first. Um, we're gonna, I guess, this one, select, and discard this card, yeah, and the better place. Well, I'm sorry, it's the way it had to be. So, this card's basically a beat stick, is that what it is? Yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, um, then we can actually use this, Is that a monster to our hand? And a monster can be this. Uh, let's just discard in your graveyard, except an edit to your hand, and you can only use this effect once per turn. Negate the effects of face of monsters on the field, which was summoned from the extra deck. Ooh, but this is not an effect, and this is. Okay, so that doesn't work. Um, this lets us add a spell trap, but we only have the fusion summons. A fusion. or ritual, actually. Ritual spells. So. Um, I think I will just add this card to the hand. Just in case. Or this to, to perfect protect me. Yeah, I'll add, add this. Perfect. Okay, then we can oh this is still the <laughs> megalith. Like why is it mixed up? It should be all macros, I feel. Um yeah, okay, but we can use this, right? So we'll summon this. Add the two monsters from your hand up to if you do draw the same number of cards. Yeah. Um we will use you can use it from the graveyard? Are you kidding? You can banish it from the graveyard? That's what this card wants. Ah, and our banish once from the graveyard. Ooh, that's way better. Yeah, we will definitely do that. Um, nice. Oh, it's not... Oh, that's it, that's it. Yeah, okay, it's the full material, even in the graveyard. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, because then we can actually draw two new cards, or at least one new card. Yeah, now we can link and everything. I'm not sure how long we can keep this up, like, uh, not linking, because the opponent is linking, and XYZ and everything else, so... Um, when a card effects, okay. So this basically has no effect on the field anymore, only for its summon. So I'm not sure if we could, should keep it on the field. Um, there, we can do the effect activation. We can actually... Tribute this monster, I think. Yeah, let's try it. Tribute this monster and also... Uh, this card's not gonna do much. So, Raigeki, ooh, that actually does help. Kablam! Bye-bye, Sigur Monsters. Megalith, hey, what fun. You can ritual summon this card with the Megalith card, you can discard this card, ritual summon Megalith monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand or field. That is so bad. This, this, gonna be, this works so badly with uh, the other cards, unfortunately. If this card's ritual summon, you can target one card to open it. Okay, yeah, but that's just uh, attack. He, he's gonna... He's gonna... Special summon from the graveyard again. There's one megalith monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in the defense position place on the bottom of the deck when it leaves the field. Even this card leaves the field. You can only use... Yeah, okay. Um, let's go to the battle phase. That was the heart of the cards, by the way. That Raigeki. I was in a really sticky situation there. Um, in phase two. Can just set this card to be 100% safe. He don't have a lot of life points anyway, and he doesn't have a card in his hand, so uh, yeah, he will just special summon. Draw face. Nice. Why doesn't it die? Wait, it didn't die. Hold up. Um, oh, each time. 
So ritual mod, let's discard it first. Yeah, each the first time each ritual monster ritual summon monster will be triggered, but it's not destroyed. That's it. This card can be used to ritual summon any number of necro necros ritual monsters. Tribute to a monster from your hand or field, or send to a monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Also after that, ritual summon any number of necros monsters whose total levels equal exactly the level of the monster. You can only use this effect necros fly the once per turn. If you control a monster, you can banish this card from your yeah, but we would love to have the Necros card then. Um, ooh, there's not much we can do here actually. We can change the defense position. And um, yeah, enter the battle phase and do nothing and then go into the end phase. Uh, basically, luckily this card actually protects us. Ooh, okay, no. Now, now he has two attacks. Make this one. Ooh, Doki Doki even. That's a really good card. Honestly. Link. That's Link, right? Yeah. Nightmare Unicorn. I've heard a lot about this card, but I don't know what it does. This card, you can discard one card, target one card, and field shuffle it into the deck. Ooh, nice. Then, if this card is co linked, then was, uh, when this effect was activated, you can draw one card. You know, you use this effect once per turn. For any co linked Nightmare monster on the field, for your normal draw in your draw page, draw one card for each different card's name. Wow, among those co-linked Nightmare monsters instead of just drawing one card. Okay, um, Nightmare. No, this necklace of Unicorn. Card, target one. Must be rich strong. You can discard this card and target one card in your graveyard, except add it to your hand. <coughs> Ooh. Not discarding your graveyard, except add it to your hand. You can use this effect once per turn to get the effects of face of monsters that was pressed on an extra deck. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna use that because then we can get the level 9 monster. Yes, and hopefully we have a level 9 monster in there. I guess so, right? Mm, do we do not? Ugh, tribute monsters from your hand or field or send one monster from your extra deck to the, from the, uh, from your extra deck to the graveyard. Also, after that, ritual summon any number of ritual number necros monsters who total up equal exactly... Why do we not have level 9 monsters in the deck? Level 7, 8, 8, 9. Here, we can send this to the graveyard, right? Tribute one monster from your ex from your hand or field, or send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Yeah, we can do that. Also, after that, ritual summon any number of necros monsters whose total levels exactly equal the level of that monster. Yeah, that's any number, and it will be one. Why can we not do that? <laughs> you, get, you can ritual summon this card. Must be ritual summoned. Yeah, that doesn't violate anything. Without choosing level 9 monsters. Oh, that's what violates it. Ah. Okay, I think we are pretty dead. What do we have here? We have this, and this actually says that you have no monsters. Oh, it actually can do anything. Something. Mm, you can only use it. Monster turn. If you control no monsters, you can banish this card and one card from your. Add one necro spell from your deck to your hand. But what do all spell do, though? We can try it, of course. Uh, we can banish this, why not? Okay, we can add a necro spell. Yeah, that's this. Kaleidoscope, we already have that. Um, wow, I think we're dead. Battle face. And. Dang, I'm not sure how, if I made many m mistakes or bad choices. I think I read everything very well through. Um, and for the first time playing with necros. I think I did the best I could, but yeah, it's not really working out. The deck is <laughs> not that uh, coherent, I guess, with each other. But okay. Um, what does this do? We can discard this card, add a monster to the hand. It's not interesting, man. We want to, we want to do this, but trigger um, one monster from your extra one monster from your extra deck to the. But it doesn't well work so well. Hmm. Hmm. Sticky situation, guys. Sticky situation. Yeah, I can, this is the only effect I can activate, on, honestly. We also cannot normal summon, so we can, yeah, get this monster. We can get this monster to negate the battle phase or end the battle phase. But... Yeah, I 
we have these two together or something we can do we can use the kaleidoscope but otherwise the kaleidoscope is not that good unfortunately um yeah we can do this to just save our save ourselves um and the restriction of being able to use double nine monsters is pretty pretty bad yeah we have to use this this part and we're gonna punish one from the graveyard and it's gonna be I guess draw face. Let's see what we can draw and megalith. Oh, maybe the megalith cars can save us. Megalith, what is your effect? You can yes, you can discard this card ritual summon one megalith ritual monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your yes. You can finally get rid of this. Boost up equals or exceeds, so it's level 9, that's perfect. Um, when your opponent activates a card effect that targets a card to control target, uh, place one ritual monster from your grave on top of the deck, and if you do negate that effect, that's pretty good, but it targets a card to control. So, yeah, that's actually pretty good against this card, but it also doesn't have high attack. This doesn't have high attack either. <laughs> okay, then we are gonna discard this card to special summon the Aerotron in defense position, and of course, we're gonna. Get rid of that one. Uh, in defense position. This strong monster, it only has 2000 uh, attack. That's such a pity. Okay, I think that was about all we could do. And, and he has a pretty good card, and honestly, on the, on the field. He can just special summon. Oh no, he can't because it, play, it gets placed on the bottom of the deck and he probably doesn't have any more Megalith. Okay, let's see if we draw Megalith. Oh, that's the same. No, that, is that the same card? No, it's a different card. <coughs> okay. You can target one level 4 or lower monster you control. We don't have that. It level become double its original level until the end of the turn. Even if Scratly should, you can only use. <laughs> that's so useless. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we can put this face down and then just go to the end phase. Megalith, Bator, discard, yeah he's gonna ritual summon, okay, yeah that's cool. I, these cards never stay on the field, I cannot even read them. Oh, no, he, he just discarded it again. Okay, then he can add a card to his hand or something, right? I target one ritual monster engraved, add it to your hand. Yeah. Man, I can't wait to play with the blue as white dragon deck again. Draw a card. Megalith Unformed. Okay, let's see what it is. Activate one of these effects. All monsters your opponent controls boost 5 in the deck for each ritual monster on the field. Ooh, until the end of this turn. Nice, we can finally do something. Ritual summon one megalith monster. Ritual monster from your deck in defense position by attributing monsters in your hand or field. No, okay, so we're gonna use the first effect. No, we don't, we don't want that. Okay, so we're gonna change it to tech position. And we're actually going to enter the battle phase. Really? What is this? No! No! Really? Huh, he had a megalith uninformed as, well, uh, unformed as well. Oh, but it doesn't die. Okay, but we're really low HP though. So, main phase 2. Yeah, this doesn't do anything, man. <laughs> I have to say, unfortunately, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm... I'm not really playing bad or anything. The deck is just not really well laid out. Um, it's probably a little bit better if you play with these cards. Like if you mix in Nightmare Phoenix, for example, two different monsters. Two monsters with different names is super easily made, but... Yeah, I still, I still want to try my best to refrain from using those cards. And I mean, this is one of the first battles I'm actually struggling at, so dying one, two, or even three times shouldn't be the worst. It's actually a little bit fun to me. I like a challenge. 
So he's gonna attack it, I guess. No. But portal. Okay. Scarf is not really useful, uh, especially since we don't. I'm not sure if we have level, level uh, like lower megalith. What is it? Megalith monsters. Oh, okay. He's gonna kill me. We're dead. <laughs> oh, monster! Sh this is such a good card, by the way. I love it. Yeah, final blow. Let's flip our card. Yes, increase the <laughs> attack of uh, stars of all these monsters. <laughs> R to the I to the P to the R to the I to the P. The spirit and the the spirit and the megalith. Yeah, respect for you, man. You actually did beat me. Dang it, the loner decks, they keep getting to me, man. I'll try give it one more try. You are a little, a little bit over 30 minutes in. You can definitely, uh, come on, man, let's have a quick win. That would be really nice. All right, cool. Also, I think the hand that you draw here is pretty important. I am a very special summon in defense, which plays on the bottom of the deck when it is a few demons card. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Discard this card with some one megalith monster. Turn the monster from your hand or field, but we don't have that, right? How are we gonna activate this effect? So we can discard this, uh, special summon this, but we don't have monsters to send to the graveyard. So why is it letting me activate this card? You can ritual summon this card with a megalith card. You can discard this card, ritual summon one, ritual summon. You want ritual monster from your hand, but you're monster from your hand or field, yes, okay. Equal or exceed if level discard ritual summons you can target one card. Okay, let's try it. I'm curious just what he wants to show me. Oh, you can su summon ritual summon any. But it's a megalith. This is a megalith monster. I'm sorry, I completely didn't see that. Um, yeah, we will have to send this to the graveyard, that's perfect. It's no worries because we have the strap card here. Um, we do it in defense. Okay, uh, yes, uh, if card, you can add one Megalith monster from a deck to your hand, except yes, of course. And we are going to add to the hand this card, I like this card. You can target one ritual monster in your graveyard. Yeah, I really like this card, let's go. Alright, um, then we're going to set this card, and end this. Okay, interesting play. Yes, we're definitely gonna activate this. Wait. There's one Megalith monster in your grave, special summon it in defense position. Why did you not do that? Place on the bottom of the deck. If the if it is revealed, you're gonna only activate. Use this effect once per turn. Huh? <laughs> Maybe I missed something. Uh, six cards, please. Thanks. Okay, Necros. Necros. Okay, um, but I want to activate this effect actually because I have Megalith monsters. These are Megalith monsters, right? Yeah. Why can I cannot special summon these? Oh, uh, must be. Can we summon this card? Ah, maybe I can only special summon them if they have been summoned properly. That's the thing, I think. They. Okay, that's, that's annoying, honestly. Otherwise, I wouldn't have thrown these two away, but oh well, so be it. You can reach summon this card with a Megalith, with a Megalith card. Okay, sure. Okay, this card has... Dear me, if you can activate this effect, act, uh, reach some more ritual monster from your hand by tributing monster from your hand or field. Including this card on your field. Yeah, so we can get this out of the way for this. I guess that's, that's not even that bad. This card has 
You can target one ritual monster in your grave if the card becomes a level on third. Then add a target to your hand. Yeah, that's that's pretty useful. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Um effect station. Let's get this on the field. Ooh, any ritual monster. Ooh, so they do synchronize a little bit, but okay, I just calculated for this one, so. Tribute to necessary monsters, yeah, sure. Uh, defense, I guess. This animation, every time, awesome. Uh, activate effect, yeah. We're gonna return this to the hand. So now it becomes level 8. Effective chain, no, let's not chain anything. Uh, now we can activate this because we have a properly summoned monster. Yeah, awesome. Uh, chain? No, let's not chain it. We'll do it separately. I messed it up last time when I chained something. So, this actually has... <coughs> it's level 8 now. Then, during the Mephia's quick effect, you can activate this effect. Ritual summon one megalith mo ritual monster from your hand or deck by tributing monsters from your hand or field whose total level equal or exceeds. So, you want to the... The, the one who got increased attack, that monster. Um, okay, so we also have this one. You can ritual summon this card with any Necros ritual spell. Must be ritual summoned without using Necros. Yeah, yeah. You can discard this card, add one Necros monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, that's cool. I would say let's do that. And then we can get the other. No, don't change, please. And we can get this card. Um, we can also discard this card. <laughs> that's al always weird. Discard this card. Yeah, let's go. Um, no, don't change, please. Then we can add to the hand this card. <laughs> um, we don't want this, right? The number of. Let me add it to it. Tribute one monster from your hand or field, or send one monster from your. Also, after the original zone. Any number of necros monsters. Yeah, this excludes level 8 monsters, so it won't work. Um, yeah, I, d I, d I don't like this kaleidoscope. I like this one though. Um, so yeah, we can. Oh, we cannot activate this because it has to exactly equals. Yeah, and this is a level. But we cannot use level eight monsters. <laughs> oh man, it's such terrible, terrible rule that you cannot use level eight monsters. Kaleidoscope is here, that's not too good. Um, we summon this. Let's try hand. Okay, is, does this level up stay? Terrible which monster becomes. This, uh, this card level becomes that level of the target. Then, yeah, that's cool. That stays. Then, end phase. <coughs> No, we're not gonna, not gonna chain. <coughs> no, thanks. Halek, he is actually coming with Halek. Okay, then I will probably do Halek as, oh no, he's not coming with Halek, he's coming with this card. This card actually has, uh, wait, what are you gonna do, hold up. This card's ritual summon, you can target cards you're going to control up to the number of ritual ones with different names, so you're great to destroy them. Nice, that's pretty good, honestly. You can only use each effect on strength, so yeah, we are gonna change the effect. So, we're actually gonna select monster to special summon, we're actually gonna get Halak. Select. Uh, the monsters to use will be from the field. This one. Uh, face of attack position. <coughs> Alright, nice. Uh, let's see what the attack is. Nice, 3700. And he destroyed the other. Oh. Okay, he should have destroyed this card, but oh well. Um, yes, effect activation. Four? Oh, a link. Okay. Why, man? Why do you keep linking monsters, man? Come on. Okay, turn change, draw face. Harpy's Feather Cool, we have that in the deck. Uh, Mephis 1, you can actually activate this. 
bring out uh, Palak again, yeah. Select. Um, no, don't change. If I'm correct, we can still activate the spec though. Um, yeah, let's change the effect because we can actually. Wait, no. Discard ritual. Oh, only if it's ritual summoned. Okay, so that first effect will never work. Um, we can actually ritual summon from the deck if I'm. Okay, so basically. Turn to my face. Quick back, you can activate this effect. Ritual summon one Megalith monster from your hand or deck by tributing monsters from your hand or field. Who's still level equal or exceed. So basically, what do we want to do? We want to do discard, I think. No, we want to do discard. Uh, which card is it? Like it, um, the card that he just used as well. It's not this one. It's the one that kills cards equal to the number of ritual monsters in your graveyard. <coughs> or do we not have that card? Let's see. Which card was that? That was Bethor. Do we have Bethor? Yeah, we do. Um, so we want to special summon this card. And we will use. Mm, not Falek. We will use this, I guess. Uh, face up. Yeah, sure. If he adds a card to his hand, that's really nice for him. Uh, of course, we're gonna use this. Uh, select cards to destroy. We can select three, right? So let's start by this. Another card, of course. So another card, of course. He's gonna use that. Are oh, your monsters? All monsters here upon the control loot into the end phase. Okay. Okay, yeah, sure. <coughs> okay, we can still link. <laughs> I'm not sure, like it is possible to link, but yeah, I don't I don't feel like it. Okay. Um, I'm i I'm definitely not like uh, I'm still against it, so <laughs> um attack. We're definitely gonna win without that man. We don't need that. Maybe it's two. Am I missing anything? Nope, nope, nope. I used this card, so it's all good. And and face. Perfect. Yeah, now they have quite a bit of attack again. So. The effect of... Uh, yeah, because we can use this to actually summon, but I'm not gonna use it. Okay, he's still not summoning Shadow Knight. No, Falek. He's summoning Falek. And he gets 3400 of the deck. Um, yeah, sure, let's do this. Um, can we tribute herself for herself? Yeah. So we just have another monster in the graveyard. Um, yeah. In face of defense. Which one wants to integrate it? Yes. Make it level 8. Okay, it's pilot. That's smart. That's really smart. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, no worries. We can use this effect actually to. Okay, uh, this is still not too useful. Uh, we don't have any properly summoned. These are neither of these are properly summoned. That's interesting. Okay, uh, we can use this effect though. That's that's really good. We can special summon from the deck even. Monsters to special summon. Um, Falak. Oh, we can get Falak of course. Let's go. And we trigger to summon herself. Okay, nice. It's actually looking up a little bit, I guess. Um, I hope it actually has more attack. Yeah, it should be. It should be more attack. We have quite a lot of monsters in the graveyard. Oh, only one more, honestly. Uh, but that's okay, that's all we need. Uh, effect activation. Oh my god, this is so good, this is such a good combo. The Megalith is actually pretty good, like this combo is pretty good. Oh, what am I doing? No, no, I should have attacked first. Oh, okay, then I guess Falak will attack and then he doesn't have any cards, so I think we will, we will be fine, even if we 
even if we suicide. Flash. And then we attack. Flash. Alright, no worries. We'll be fine. Um, in that case, let's see. Maybe it's two. Am I missing anything? I can just set this card. I can... That's it, I guess. And... Turn change. Main face. Is he gonna do anything? It's... Okay. It, it is before the end of the main phase. Activate card effect. Um, I guess we can do this. Special summon it in defense position. Mm, yeah. And we can do Palak? Maybe? Yeah. Sure. Let's get it back. Uh, no, don't train anything. Not right now, at least. Um, for the end of the main phase, we can do this. Target one level four lower monster control becomes double its original level until the end of this turn, even if spread is field. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Use the effect now. Perfect. Uh, no, don't change. Not yet. Maybe later. For the end of the main phase. Sure. I don't know when, like, did he do anything yet? Um, yeah, so basically I can special summon a monster. Which is the one I will special summon. I guess this. Because then I can just kill him, insta kill him later. Uh, not from the field, but from the hand. Yeah, perfect. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting a little bit more of the hang of it. Uh, in that position. Balek, what's up? Come to us, man. 4900. That's pretty decent. Turn change. Draw. Okay. Okay. Um, I can use this once more. I'm just trying to get familiar familiarize myself with the deck, I guess. Um, yeah, so basically we can... <coughs> special summon this card, maybe? What does it do? Oh, it's it's the card. Um, you can also special summon itself, and then you can copy uh, the level again. It's that's a pretty good combo, by the way. Okay, but yeah, we will use Trishula on the hand. We won't use it anyway. Whoop flash. Okay. Um, change battle position. Change the attack position, of course. Well, if this isn't the f most fun battle ever, then I don't know what is. <coughs> attack. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> the flash. Okay, nice. We got um, an insane overkill, actually. And that without any extra deck cards. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm really glad that, that that worked. I'm really still curious how long we can keep this up because that will not be easy um, okay nice and the last thing I will do is actually just play it with my deck um, and we got Och, Megalith Och actually and here we go okay let's try to see how this goes with the Blue Eyes Red Dragon deck but yeah but as I was saying like uh, as you can see the opponent already starts to use uh, the XYC and all the other cards that um, other new summoning mechanics, so I'm really curious how long we can keep it up to not use those cards. Because that will be uh, difficult eventually. <laughs> full, full, that's the that's what I said. That, like this is a really good card. I knew it beforehand, but I didn't really know how to utilize it yet. Okay. Um, what is he gonna do? Put Palak on the field. Or no, wait, he's gonna Aratron. Aratron does. I'm gonna card activate, okay, so he will get put on the field. Okay, Har some Harbinger guy. 2000 spec. Okay. Must return when spell. Spell, card, or effects activated on the field. Uh, yeah, so basically, what that's what he does. Put, putting the gates on the board. My deck will lose to this any day. Um, I'm gonna spell. Card or effects activated on the, on the field. Quick effect, you negate that effect. And if you do it, attach that card to this card as material. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can detach one material from this card. Change the attack target to this card from damage calculation. If a face up XYZ monster you control is a battle or card effect, you can target one face up XYZ monster you control 
against attack equal to one of those is trademark. Pretty good card, honestly. Uh, the, the first one is already like a really good negate spell card, and that's the thing that I will uh, aim to do, of course. Um, yeah, I can just bait it, I guess, with this. Um, I guess he will negate it if I if I use this. That's why. Uh, what will I want in the graveyard? I guess the blue eyes veteran. Like a monster, yeah. Is he gonna negate it? Yeah, he is. Like I don't really care if this get this get gets negated. The uh, cost has already happened. The cost is sending the blue eyes to the graveyard. So. Um, yeah, and then we can use the effect. Uh, I mean, to trade him safely. Draw the cards. Return the dragon lords. Hmm. Interesting. So we currently we can do special summon the blue eyes white dragon to just suicide into the into this into this guy, and we have a return of the dragon lords in the graveyard, so we so we can protect our own uh, monster. I'm not sure if you're gonna protect it, but you can basically just crash into it. Battle. Uh, no. So we'll just let our monster die. So be it. And then we go to main base 2. Then we just set. We enter the face, I think. Or enter, enter set. Can use true light? I don't think we will. Not yet. Let's see what he's gonna do. Uh, no. <coughs> I give. Welcome. Uh, no. I will use it in the better face though. If he's uh, ready to go to the better face. He has the portal. Nice. That's really good uh, for him. That's a really good card. Better face. Uh, of course. Now I will use it. Effect. Um, we will yes. First is the effect. Special summon blue eyes by trigger from the graveyard. Uh, graveyard. Yes. Okay. In face of attack position. <coughs> All right. What's up? Um, turn change. All right. Draw face. Sage. Another sage. Um, yes. Perfect. Then we will actually use this effect. We will set, and I think, okay, yeah, so we have the choice between, so apparently this also would, be, there's only two choices, but yeah, this is a good one. Um, we'll return of the Dragon Lords, to actually revive, yep, and we can banish the Storm Trap card that he controls, so that's a pretty good, pretty good, um, that will work out pretty well. Um, yes, activate effect, banish this card. Activated chain another card. No, we won't chain another card. Um, okay, that's that. Then we we can activate this. Uh, let's just see what it, what we can. Okay, the chain. No. So what can we get? We can yeah, we can actually get this. Hmm. It won't won't be enough, unfortunately, in attack power. Do we have in the hand? This. Oh yeah, mm, yeah, it will be enough. We can manage it. So basically, you'll see what the plan is. <coughs> so if he does not have anything, uh, wait. If he does not have anything, then we can actually hopefully kill him here. Select yes. Show discard. Special summon in face of attack position. Uh, use its effect actually. And you can actually see that there's things there. This its effect. Um, don't change, please. No. Um, then we use the Sage with Ice of Blue. We send this card to the graveyard. Can it? Uh, since it used it used its effect, it cannot attack anymore. So um, yeah, we'll bring this card to the field. Welcome and yeah, sure. Add the actions which will add to the hand, why not? And secondly, now we have 8k damage, so battle. Exactly. 
and attack. And lastly, blue eyes red dragon. Direct attack. Whiplash. All right, so yeah, that's really with the dragon deck. Um, as you can see, this is this was turn what? I cannot see it anymore. I think a uh, turn four. Okay, that was really quick, but turn four. Okay, yeah, that so that was a lot better battle. Um, Fifty-five minutes. This battle, the last battle, we will have to do in the last um, in the next episode. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, you're noticing that the battles might take a little bit longer, start to take a little bit longer because the opponents are also going to do more complicated moves, um, and maybe uh, he will just play better as well. So we will lose sometimes, um, which will extend how long we will uh, take uh, how long it will take us to get uh, one gate done basically so yeah i want to thank you all for watching i really hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you next time as well peace out